Yes. In this video, we will be seeing what are the different types of tree data structures available. So we will see some more than this also available, but we will see a few general tree, binary tree, binary search tree, AVL tree, red black tree, splay tree, trap and B tree. So far, we will see what is a general tree. So in general tree, this is a general tree. It has uh, any number of child nodes will be there. Uh, it, but normally it follows a root and its children. Uh, it can have one parent can have more than two children or three children it can have. So it generally follow the properties of a tree means it will be having a root then parent and child that is said to be the general follow the properties of a tree. A node can have any number of cells. So this node can have two children. This node has three children. This has four children and all. So it is used to store a hierarchical data set. Like, so it, it is used for storing a folder. So if you take a, if you, when you are creating a folder, within that you create so many folders. Then in another folder, you create so many folders and store your data and arrange your data accordingly. So that is a good example for a general tree structure. A binary tree. The next one is a binary tree. The name itself says, by when I say binary, only two. Okay. So each node will consist of only two children. One, uh, zero or two children. It can have one children or zero children or it can have two children, not more than that. It cannot have three children or four children. But in general, it follows the properties of a tree. So what is the property of a tree? It will have a root node and then it can have children. The children again, now it becomes parents. They have and have more children and so on. But a node can have at most, at the most, only two number of children. The node to the left of the parent here. Yeah. This is, let us take this as a parent means uh, to this left, this is called left child and to this right, this is called a right child. So these are all these type of uh, binary tree are mostly used by compilers to build the syntax trees. And they are used to implement expression passes and solvers used to store router tables in networks. They are used to store the router tables in routers. Binary search tree. So in binary search tree, the main difference is here, main difference between a binary tree and binary search tree is uh, in by the same thing, only thing is storing of data. Here again, the same strict rule of binary tree, that is it can have only two children, not more than that. Okay, that strict rule is there. But how the data is arranged, the left cell data will be lesser than the parent, either lesser than or equal to parent. The same way the right child data will be greater than the parent or equal to parent. This is a strict rule. So if you go through the whole uh, tree, 56, let us take parent, this root node. 56 is more than the 30, but lesser than the right child. Same way, this is the parent for these two. So the left child is smaller than the parent and it is uh, right child is greater than the parent. Same way here. Here it is a right child. So it is, it must be greater than the parent. And for this, this is the left child. This is smaller than, lesser than this value. And 67 is greater than that. Same way you can go through all. A left child must have a, have a value lesser than the parent. And right child must have a value greater than the parent. This is the strict rule which will be followed. While during insertion also, you have to follow the same strict rule. That's why, and the, this is the main difference between the binary tree and binary search tree. In binary tree, there is no such rule. You can put the key values anywhere. There is no nothing that left child should be lesser than the uh, parent and so on. So that is the main difference between a binary tree and binary search tree. So here you, it is used to implement the sorting techniques. Since because of this arrangement, automatic arrangements, it will be mostly used in sorting, sorting uh, the folders, etc can be used to implement priority queue where always in topmost the latest value can be made priority the one which you are giving more priority can be made to form as the parent and so on so in that way it can be used in a priority queue used in many search algorithms where data are dynamically entering and leaving avl tree avl tree is a self balancing binary search tree this is also a binary search tree but it is called a self-balancing, which automatically balances its height. So however you are, always it balances the height of the tree. 
so it follow the properties of a binary search tree that is that uh, that is all the tree uh, property as well as the binary search property so which means uh, left child should be smaller and right child should be bigger than greater than the parent all those things will be followed and self balance the height each node stores a value called the balance factor so each node stores a value called balance factor which the difference between height of the left sub tree and the right. so what is the difference between these two that will be stored as the balance factor in each parent so all the nodes must have a balance factor of minus 1 0 or 1 that is the rule used to this is mainly used in situations where more insertions dynamic insertions are carried more insertions are carried over it, and it is used in memory management of the linux kernel system linux operating system red black tree this is another balancing self balancing binary search tree where the nodes will be given colors red and black that is why the name red black tree it for again this follow the rule of a binary search tree and it is also self balancing the height each node is either or a red or a black the root is normally black all leaves are in black color and they will be denoted uh, these are all nil because they don't have further children if all the node is red then both its children are if the node is a red then its children will be black so that uh, rules will be followed in order to differentiate it is mainly used in computational geometry representation and here for fa uh, CPU scheduling of the Linux system, this red black tree is used. Not only that, it is used in a system call, e uh, system call of a Linux kernel. Split, split tree. Split tree is also a self-balancing binary search tree. It follows the properties. Again, here also it follows the properties of the binary search tree where the left is smaller than parent and right is greater than the parent and it is a self balancing height self balancing the height and recently access elements are quick to access that's what here it is very quick to access so once you have access that will come as the top and uh, still it follows the binary search because this is a more uh, more bigger value and 30 goes here which is uh, again maintains the binary search tree so the latest item will be always uh, once you access this, that will become the parent of this, that is root of that. So that recently access will be always there. So after performing a search insertion, there is a play tree perform an action called playing, where the tree is arranged so that the particular element is placed at the root of the tree. So if you are going to access this uh, again and again, say for example, if there is a for loop where a set of elements, set of uh, statements inside that they are accessed again and again, say for 100 times, around, those things will be placed first. So that it will be accessed first for catch memory and all it will be used. So it will be used in garbage collection and data compressions. Trap tree. Here the name comes from tree plus heap tree. So that is together it is called trap tree. Each node has two values. Here other than that just the value it has two. What is it? Key and its priority. So this is the key value. M is the value and this is the priority. So the key follows the binary search property again uh, and then the priorities follow the heap. The data is following the binary search and the priority, this has more priority so it comes to the root node. So this will be accessed often and uh, the keys follow the binary search tree property. The priority follow the heap property. Always in heap, the one recent access or priority values will be placed as the root. Used to maintain authorization certificates in public key crypto systems. Used to perform fast set operations. B3. B3 is a self-balancing binary search tree. Each node can contain more than one key and can have more than two children. If you see that, it has two keys. This is a root node where it consists of two key values. So more than one value you can store. It is used in database indexing to speed up the search process. Used to implement directory structure in a file system. So why a B tree? Unlike AVL tree, where only one key value, here you can store two, two key value or more than that also. We can store more number of key. Because of this, the access time decreases. Because at one access, you will be able to collect more values. So because of this, this is a very good uh, application. This is a, this tree structure is very much applied in the physical storage where the speed matters. That is fast accessing of the disk, disk data.